What's up guys, RGT85 here, and today on the channel we have a very special look at a very special game, a very special preview, and that game is Cuphead on the Nintendo Switch. Now of course, Cuphead for the Nintendo Switch was unveiled during Wednesday's Nindies Showcase event. It was the first game that was presented, and a lot of people were shocked, a lot of people were surprised, and a lot of people were very, very excited, myself included. Now if you're an avid RGT85 viewer, you would know that we sort of expected Cuphead to be announced for the Nintendo Switch, along with games like Ori and the Blind Forest and other games because Microsoft and Nintendo have a very interesting partnership going forward. But to see Cuphead coming out on April 18th was just absolutely amazing. A great way to start a great Nindy Showcase. I did a full video on the Nindy Showcase, so make sure you guys go check that out when you get a chance. But I ended up managing to get an early review copy of Cuphead for the Nintendo Switch, so I just wanted to do a preview for you guys, show you guys how the game works, show you guys how the game runs on the Nintendo Switch, because I feel like a lot of people are going to be interested in that sort of stuff. So you can see here here we're at the pause menu right now. There are different achievements that you can unlock by playing the game and completing certain tasks. You can go into the options menu, adjust things like the volume, the visual style of the game. You can customize the controls as well. So that's pretty cool, but really you just want to see how the game looks and how the game plays. And from what I've been playing so far, I've been dabbling in it a little bit. It's, you know, it's great. Like I played Cuphead on the Xbox One. Um, I never got around to beating it. I got pretty far into the game, but it was just a game that I always felt like this belongs on the Nintendo platform. It seems silly that this isn't coming out for a Nintendo platform, but now, of course, it is coming out on a Nintendo platform. So we got a couple things to show you guys here. Um, there is a shop where basically you get coins by um, acquiring coins within the levels, and you can then come to the shop and purchase different things like weapons and weapon upgrades, and of course, additional health items, which you're gonna need because Cuphead is a very challenging game. Like, it's even more so challenging trying to play the game and talk about the game at the same time but i feel like we're going to be okay here i did upgrade my gun once to the little homing gun that you can get and so i feel confident like we're going to be able to look like we know what we're doing with this game because like i said cuphead is challenging and adding into the fact that i'm trying to talk and explain what's going on and pay attention to the game well that's just kind of challenging to be honest with you but you can see here cuphead is obviously known for its visual style it's an absolutely gorgeous game and i was very interested to see how it would end up on the nintendo Switch. Now, obviously, it's not a game that's really pushing hardware, but it's very stylized. And, you know, sometimes these ports, you know, they get a little bit half-assed with the Nintendo Switch versions of these games. But it's great to see that absolutely nothing is half-assed about this game. It looks absolutely beautiful. Supposedly, there are some um, Nintendo uh, Switch-related secrets in this game. Um, I haven't come across any, like I said, I just started playing, but I'm very interested to see what ends up popping up in this version of the game. But you can see Cuphead, you know, it, these are the run and gun levels. So there's two types of levels and uh, primary uh, levels in this game where you have the run and gun style, which is, you know, plays like an old school NES game. And then you have the style of level where you're just defeating a single large boss battle and, you know, just very hectic and very chaotic. But this is the run and gun style of level. I kind of prefer the run and gun style. I know the boss battles are super awesome, but they're just, they take a long time. And like sometimes like one mistake will just make everything go to hell. And I don't know, I, I just, I get angry and I'm not a very patient gamer to begin with. Oh, so I accidentally used my special power up there. I have one special um, power up left. I hit the wrong button, but you know, that's okay. At least you could see see what it does oh man all right we're cutting it close here we're almost at the end of the level and we beat the level folks we beat the level so that makes me feel good i don't look like a complete idiot playing this game but that is the first level of cuphead on the nintendo switch let's see how we got grade wise we, we didn't do that good the time was pretty good and we got three of the five gold coins come on come on C plus. You know what? I was a C plus student in school. I wasn't an overachiever. I wasn't an underachiever, right sort of in the middle of the road. So I'm very happy with this C plus. But let's take a look uh, at a few more levels of the game just to show you guys how everything is running and how everything is playing. I'm sure a lot of people are very interested in this game and they should be. I mean, it's, it's freaking Cuphead on the Nintendo Switch. So going down here, let's check out this level. This is a boss battle, so you can see how these sort of work out. Um, a lot of concentration is needed for these, and considering the fact that I'm sitting here trying to talk and communicate, I'm probably, probably not gonna do very good, but let's try it out. As you can see, just 
great, great visuals. Like, they're so freaking good. It literally looks like, a, you know, the golden age of cartoons, that 1930s, 1940s aesthetic when cartoons were first coming out and just absolutely gorgeous. I just absolutely love it. The game just oozes character. It's one of those games that just, you know, if somebody were to make a game that looked like this, you would be like, oh, okay, you're, you're trying to look like Cuphead. Like, it's one of those games that's just so impactful that um, it's, just, it's just great. The music's awesome too. The, the crazy ass jazz music. It's like you're on an acid trip. All right, let's avoid these. Crocodile tears. Ah, he's getting me good. We're doing all right though. We might, we might pull this off. Guess just gotta focus, focus. Come on. All right, just gotta keep moving. This gun is very good for this boss battle. It's making it. It's making it a bit easier. If we didn't get hit with those couple cheap shots, like I'd feel a lot more confident. I always get nervous when I'm like on my last life. You know, I have one hit point left. I know I have one hit point left. I'm just trying to survive. All right, make moves, make moves, make moves. We're doing all right here. We're doing all right. Just keep it going. Just keep the patterns down. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. I look like a Cuphead master playing this right now. And I, I'm absolutely, you know, I, it takes me a while. You'll see, we'll, we'll try one more level. You'll see that, um, yeah, it definitely gets very challenging, but hey, you know what? I will take that. And you know, this is probably gonna be closer to a D. Let's see, C, middle of the road. I will t gladly take a C for my Cuphead. C is for Cuphead, that's good enough for me. All right, so let's check out one more level in Cuphead. And then I feel like you guys will have you know, pretty much what you, uh, what to expect from this game. Pretty much what you're trying to do is collect these different contracts for the devil. You, you sold your soul and you're basically trying to work for him right now. So let's check out one more level here. All right. He's so, look at this guy. He's so angry. Like, why are you so angry? You're in this beautiful world. You're a, you're a big, Beautiful gold coin. I don't know. I don't know why he's so mad. Just take a little shortcut here. And do some treetop trouble. This will probably be the final level I show you guys. I don't want to spoil the game for you. I just wanted to give you guys my impressions, show you guys some gameplay footage, and just show you guys what to expect because I feel like a lot of people are really looking forward to Cuphead on the Switch. You know, it sold decently on Steam. It sold okay-ish on the Xbox One, but I feel like it's just gonna have a completely new audience on the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, you want this homing gun. If I did not have this homing gun, I probably would not be playing as well as I am. Am, but you know what whatever screw it like I'm I'm good with managing money in Cuphead like I'm good at managing my coins so I should be rewarded for that and I am rewarded with that I actually look like I'm a decent Cuphead player all right making progress here a lot of patterns you know it's it's classic it's classic NES style um, you know, gameplay where there's patterns. You have to learn the patterns of the enemies. You got to learn the patterns of the levels themselves. Just fun stuff, man. So much fun. Look at that ugly tree trunk. Why are you so ugly? Oh man, that sucked. That was dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I love this music though. Like, it, this music is so cool because it's not music that like 90% of people would listen to in their spare time. But like, when you hear it, you're like, oh man, this this is tight. Like, I like this kind of music. But then like, I wouldn't go out of my way to, you know, buy an album. I don't know, you know, a Cuphead vinyl, even though I don't own a record player, like the cool kids all have vinyl players nowadays. That might actually be kind of coolish. Man, that was dumb. 
Okay, well, you've gotten a good impression of Cuphead on the Nintendo Switch. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys what this game was all about, how the game performs, how the game plays, and should you have it on your radar. We will be doing a full Cuphead review on the Nintendo Switch um, closer to the release date of the game. I'm not quite sure when that embargo is, but I'll check that out, and we will do a full review of Cuphead on the Switch because a lot of people are going to be excited for this game. It's a great game that's really fun. It's playing really well on the Nintendo Switch. As long as this keeps up, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be a great addition to your switch library there is a physical version coming out later on day i don't think they've announced a physical version release date quite yet but they are doing a physical version of this game so that'll be a day one purchase for me but i just wanted to show you guys some gameplay and show you guys what cuphead was all about so let me know in the comments section down below are you stoked for cuphead are you pleasantly surprised with how well the game is running do you like the gameplay footage i showed you guys and what do you think of my middle of the road c to c plus skills on cuphead because honestly I'm kind of impressed that I didn't die and I beat the levels first try, except for that last level, but that doesn't count because I was talking to you guys. I was talking to you guys. And as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Check out other videos on the channel, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.